Hey, it's Mr. Barr, and this is Full Triangle Proof, day two. So a couple things, actually I, I skipped the, the learning goal for today. Let's start with this one. I've got one, two, three, four, we'll do a couple of these, okay. Let's go with this one. We're gonna do a full proof of this. So let's start with our name and our title. And just like the last lesson, you're expected to write things down. So let's get all those givens in here and the picture. So I was given that QT bisects SP and SP bisects QT. So let's draw the picture of this, kind of like a big bow tie. QRP, ST, and we're trying to prove the following that triangle Q R P is congruent to triangle SRT. Two column proof. And we'll go with our statement and our reason. Let's bring in the givens first. So QT bisects SP, that's given. And SP bisects QT. Also given, well, what does, that, what does it mean to bisect something? Well, let's look it up in our magical paper here. It's got all the good stuff on it. Bisects, bisects. Definition of a segment bisector. A segment bisector cuts a segment into two congruent segments. So what is this doing? QT, QT is like a knife. It's a knife and it's cutting this guy in half. Let's mark that up. So I know that PR is congruent to RS. How do I know that? Well, it's the definition of bisects. And notice I marked it up on my drawing. Well, I also know that QT, this is like a, nope, I already used that one. I also know that SP, this is like a knife that cuts this guy in half. So I know that QR is congruent to RT, definition of bisects. Well, I have a side and a side, and look at these angles right here. What kind of angles are those? These angles are vertical angles. So angle QRP is congruent to angle SRT. How do I know that? Vertical angles. And now I think we're ready to prove the two triangles are congruent. Side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. So the two triangles are congruent. Q 
there should be an R on that, QRP. QRPTRS is congruent to QRP. I'm going to have to fix this. It shouldn't be S, um, SRT. It should be TRS. Right? It goes over the 2 to the center. QRP, TRS. Okay. Triangle, TRS. I will fix that slide so that when you guys get it, it'll be correct. And how do I know that's true? Because it's angle, no, excuse me, of side, angle, side. There we go. Let's check it. Oh, I don't have the answer to it. Um, prove triangle, triangle, prove triangle, triangle, prove. OK, I think we're going to call it good right there for the notes, but I'm going to do a couple more just so you can see the thought process without writing quite so much down. So let's, let's just walk through this. I don't expect you to write this down because I know it's a lot of writing. All right. AB is congruent to DC. AB is congruent to DC. Okay, I would put that in as a given. So this would be the first thing I put down. Put that as a given. Put this down as a given. And put this down as a given. So I've got my three givens in there. Now, I know, so given, 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 first three lines. But I'm not fully there. All I have right now is ang um, side, side. I know that this angle is congruent to this angle. So this would be the fourth line on my proof. And the reason for this is um, parallel lines cut by a transversal. Now, um, these are corresponding angles. So I've got two parallel lines. I have this parallel line right here, this parallel line right here, cut by a transversal. They are corresponding angles. And then my fifth line of my proof would be side angle side. So that's what your proof would be, but you'd have to write it all down into columns. Because you couldn't just turn this in and say, oh, this is my proof. All right. LP bisect. So this would be statement one. This would be my first line. This would be my second line. Now, my third line would be the definition of a bisector. So let's use that bisector. Def of bisects. OK, so LP is the knife, and it cuts this guy in half. So I know that ON is congruent to NM. Why? Definition of bisects. I know that, let's see, let's use the parallel lines. Um, I know that O is congruent to P. Those are alternate interiors. So four, I'd bring those in as alternate interiors. I could say that this is congruent to this. How do I know? Well, number five, I call that vertical angles. And then I have angle, side angle. So six. There's my proof. It's a mess right here, but I could organize that into a two-column proof. OK, 
given, Q is the midpoint. Okay, so right here, there's line one, Q is the midpoint. Two, there's my second given. Three. Well, let's use the midpoint. So number four, I'd use definition of midpoint. Definition of midpoint lets me do this, right? The midpoint makes two congruent segments, right? It's right in the middle, which means PQ is congruent to QR. And then I can prove the last step of this by what, not side, uh, by side, 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 the two triangles are congruent. That's what full proof looks like, but remember, each of those, you'd have to show something like this. With the givens, the picture, the proof, all the statements, all the reasons, and mark up the drawing. And that's it. Thanks for watching.